What is up? Welcome to a finally sunny and warm morning in Germany. It's right now 6 a.m. I'm headed to the gym and I'm gonna take you along on my full day today and also I'm gonna be talking about my body transformation. Leaning down, cutting down, how it goes and my best habits and best tricks to make it easier to somewhat put it on autopilot, to get in shape for summer, for whatever you want. Let's get into it. Okay, so my habit number one is always finding a way to increase the energy output. And mainly how I do it is, wherever I go, I take the bike, especially when I wanna cut down a little. What you wanna do is get in a caloric deficit. You can do that either by eating less or moving more, or make it easier for you and do both. So you don't have to restrict how much you eat as much, and also instead of doing hours and hours of cardio every day, okay. 30 minutes, you take the bike. I drive with it to the city, to the gym. It's like around an one hour of bike riding. Makes it a lot easier and it's fun. So, it is right now time for my breakfast, lunch, you could say, and also habit number two, which is intermittent fasting. I've mentioned it a few times already, I love it, and also it has a lot of benefits when you want to just cut down, be lose weight, be just get leaner, which is the same thing initially, but uh, the good thing about it, what intermittent fasting also basically is, it's about eating in a window of, for example, eight hours a day and fasting for the remaining 16 hours. This is very common and most people do it in a way where they just skip breakfast. There have been countless of studies done and the good thing, it really, really helps to just eat less overall. Uh, sometimes I have a coffee in the morning, this helps with the, uh, with the appetite, with the hunger, Right now it's 12.30, 1 p.m. I'm around like 16 hour of a fast. Sometimes I have I eat earlier, sometimes a little later. And I like to start out my day with something lighter. As of right now, I do my vegan protein shakes. Surprisingly, they actually also taste really good. I do them with frozen bananas. You could start out with anything that you want. I just like to keep it smaller to keep my focus. Like right now, gonna get back into an edit. Editing right now the video about here the city when I was hanging out with my buddy, Florian. And because you only have a few meals, they're a lot bigger, a lot more satiating and also the focus in the morning is just the cherry on top. It's so, so, so much better. Oh, and a few hours later, I've been doing some editing right now. Uh, yeah, I'm leaving to New York in around a month. So I'm looking into accommodation. Uh, stuff like that and obviously in New York is not that easy so that's what's coming up working right now on the Hamburg video which is probably already on the channel definitely check it out so but coming back into how to make getting leaner effort not effortlessly but let's say a lot easier so intermittent fasting had my first meal around like 12 and my first big meal uh, right now it's already 4 p.m. I had it around 3, some rice with gyros, basically just meat, it's like a little bit fatty, still relatively lean, and uh, yeah, rice with low-fat yogurt and like some sour cream, tastes amazing, and um, the next habit in which I want to get into is probably what I'm going to have towards dinner, which is focusing on eating high-volume food that is more saturating. What I mean by that is there are foods like let's say nuts, super healthy, but when you're cutting, you maybe want to limit them a little bit because you want to focus on food that it has a high or let's say low caloric density, has high volume. Like for example, make a big salad. You get a lot of food 
for little calories and if you're gonna implement that in your daily diet like I really like to make uh, salads in the evening and taste really good and in the end you have like a really full stomach you feel satiated and you don't feel hungry all the time and obviously as a side note with the coffee whenever you get into the midday low after having a big meal this is where I like to implement the coffee tastes really good I got it with some ice <laughs> Okay, on my way to the city, obviously taking the bike, burning a few extra calories. See me? <laughs> and obviously, weather right now is absolutely perfect, but every time it gets better, I pretty much jinx it by saying that it's good. As of right now here in Germany, unfortunately every other video, sometimes I have a big jacket on, sometimes I switch over again into summer mode, hopefully this time, it's gonna stay for good. So for right now, I made my way into the city and I'll be picking up my sister, which will be visiting me here for around a week. Maybe she's gonna help me out with filming from one day to the other. It got like 15 degrees hotter, it's crazy. And I'm actually out here right now also to test a little bit of my new equipment. Check that out. filter on my big quality lens and with that I'm I'm getting this like bouquet even though it's like super sunny outside and this is the only place where there are no people right now the city is full yeah, picked up my sister she's gonna be my filming assistant for the next week getting her a bike right now and then heading home Alrighty, so doing the grocery shopping for my high volume dinner. Uh... So, it is right now the next day, 6 a.m. We're starting out, as you know me, like the mornings as of right now. Today is gonna be again a super hot day, so really gonna use the time. One other habit that I do almost every morning, especially when I'm, as of right now, doing my body transformation, focusing on that, is weighing myself. And maybe you heard this saying, like whatever is getting measured is getting, oh, what is this saying? Basically, it's a lot easier to progress and you know me, it's really easy to just track your weight in the morning, put it in your app, this is what I do every day and that makes it easier just to have it in front of your eyes. Are you, are you progressing? Are you maybe losing weight too quickly or are you stagnating and then you can adjust your calories? So really tracking and measuring makes it a lot easier to progress and this is my habit number four. But for right now, heading to the city in the morning is probably going to be nice and quiet gonna have the golden hour okay and the last thing that I wanted to talk about like right now my tip number five for it's I would say this for the most part just the mindset behind it like for me right now I wanted to challenge myself I've been already doing it for eight weeks I had to take some time off because of my wisdom teeth removal but overall, I'm pretty happy with it. And also, all the process is pretty much on autopilot. I have my habits in place. Man, I hope it's not too loud right now. 6.30, action's going on. And uh, every, everything else is kind of like, I enjoy the process. And because most things are on autopilot, it's so, so, so much more enjoyable. And it's part of a lifestyle. And also, because as of right now, I track my calories and uh, I can pretty much eat whatever I want. Not all day long. I because I do focus on just having some good meals, some clean meals, to have all my nutrients, I supplement with a little bit of a daily vitamin. But other than that, I, if I want to, I can go out, 
pretty much every day. Have some ice cream every other time, maybe have a burger or something because I fit it into my diet. I make it part of my lifestyle. I, I do it to enrich my lifestyle and not to restrict everything I do and keep everything track off. And actually tracking it makes it easier because you take out the guesswork, you make sure that you have the, pro the results and the progress that you want to have. And that's pretty much it. Habit number five, make it part of your lifestyle, make it sustainable and make it fun. So with that, here we are gonna end today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I also wanted to connect some of my daily life to it. And for me, it's gonna be another probably four weeks of being in a caloric deficit, really getting in shape. And then like, I think two weeks before I'm gonna be heading to New York City, I'm gonna start to eat a little bit more again. Thank you very much for watching. Smash the thumbs up button. Until next time. Oh, yeah.